इफ यू आर लुकिंग टू मैनेज नॉन एजाइल और लीगेसी प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड लुकिंग फॉर अ वेरी रिलायबल टूल देन लुक नो फर्दर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट इज हेयर फॉर यू Hey there everyone my name is Pritam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can download Microsoft project in Windows 11 so without further ado let's get started okay so here now you can see we are in our computer screen and let me open my internet browser for that I'm going to use edge browser as edge browser is available to everyone now here I'm going to type office customization tool and let's hit enter So this is the link I would say and not to worry guys I'm going to also provide all these links in the description of this video from there also you can reach to the same page now let's click here on create a new configuration now um let's keep this architecture as 64 bit i am assuming that your pc is not older than 6 or 7 years so if you bought your pc later than 2016 or 17 then simply choose this 64 bit now the next option here is office suit so let's click here now here you need to choose the office that you have for example i do have this office 365 pop business and then here um if you have got visual license available you can go with that or else you can keep it none now let's talk about microsoft project so here you will see different different variants of microsoft project for example project online desktop client or project professional 2021 which one you should go with for that let me show you the different different plans with whom microsoft projects comes with so let me type here microsoft project and let's hit enter and if i visit this microsoft official website um here we can see these are the online plan or i would say similar to office 365 and these are one time purchase plan or we can say ltsc plan because here also we can see the year number okay one thing i would like to tell you whether you have got office perpetual or office 365 unfortunately we require to purchase project separately as this tool is more business oriented that's why we can see the pricing and cost is toward higher side so if you want to go with project 365 then i would recommend you to at least consider project plan 3 as project plan 1 does not comes with desktop client so when we saw here project online desktop client it means that you will have either project plan 3 or project plan 5 license if you want to go with one time purchase then you can go with project standard or project professional as well and here also we can see the feature difference between both so you going to get this manage resources feature with project professional 2021 not with project standard in a similar way in case of cloud based solution for sure you going to get much more solutions as this one is subscription based plan which keep on getting update on continuous basis here you can see you also have this co authoring plan which is really nice you can see road map which is really nice feature to have but again you will not get a resource management feature with project plan 1 now let's come back to our customization tool so based on your requirement you can go with any of these versions so i would like to go with project online desktop client which is one of the most featureful microsoft project again i would say it totally depend on your business requirement now let's click here on this additional products and then here you can actually define the language pack i'm going to keep it none now here we also have option to customize our current office package so for example i do not need this one drive desktop and this team i can disable it so in this way i can also optimize my office package now let's click next in case of language you can choose your favorite language or the language in which you would like to see your microsoft office package In my case I would like to go with English US and you also have a option to add another language. Again in my case I'm not going to select anything. Now let's click next. Now again next. In case of update and upgrade option, please pay attention to this option. If you keep this thing enabled, 
it will automatically uninstall existing Visio project SharePoint designer info path. So again, I would say based on your requirement, you can enable or disable it. Let's say you would like to install the newer version so you can keep it on or else you can keep it, turn it off in case you do not have newer license. Now let's click next and keep on clicking next and in the end finish. Now let's click on export and choose this office open XML format and click OK. Now again here we need to accept terms and condition and click export. Here you will get this configuration.xml. Now let's open this file and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep this file here and here what I did is I created a folder in my desktop named as office and I kept my configuration.xml file here. Now the next thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download office deployment tool. Now let's hit enter and let's click on this first option and from here you can download this office deployment tool and again not to worry guys i'm going to provide all these links in the description of this video now let's click on open and click yes now click here to accept click on continue and now we need to select the folder which we have created before so this is the folder that i have created in my desktop now let me click ok and here you can see this message which says file extracted successfully and here also we can see instead of only configuration.xml we can see these new files are being added now let me delete all these configuration files and let's only keep this setup.exe now one thing we need to keep in mind guys if you want to follow this particular guide i would suggest you to create same office folder in your desktop and then keep your xml file name as configuration.xml because most of us do not do this step correctly which cause failure in installation now what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna click here on the start menu and i will type cmd and i will now run it as an administrator as i said before if you want to follow the same steps then please create office name folder in your desktop and paste these two files in the same folder. Also, you need to make sure that you keep your XML file name as configuration.xml. Now here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to copy this path and I will also try to open this path in my command prompt. In order to do that, I need to type CD, which is change directory, and then I'm gonna paste this path and then hit enter. Now we are in same folder whether we talk about Windows Explorer or Microsoft Command Prompt, we are in same folder. We can also check the file by typing dir and then here we can see uh, it contained two files which is configuration.xml and setup.exe. Now guys, we need to run the following command. The first one is setup and then space and then we need to keep one space and then forward slash and then we need to type download and then configuration.xml so what basically i am saying is we need to download this setup okay and then we need to follow this custom configuration so i have mentioned the setup and then i also have mentioned that this is configuration.xml that we need to download okay now let's hit enter so what this will do basically it will start downloading the customized office setup that caters my need which is i have pre-selected certain apps plus microsoft project so it will download only those apps that we have selected now in order to realize if my download is completed or not we can simply press windows shift and escape button and come to performance here I can see my Ethernet which is downloading something and now it has stopped downloading because we are not downloading anymore. Now let me quickly close this and if I see here, I can see that we have downloaded 2.86 GB of content. So you know if you are not sure whether you have downloaded it or not, so simply check your office properties. You will also have a setup file size of around 2 GB. 
and then again it depends on the number of apps you have selected in case if i would have not selected ms project then this file side would have under 2 gigabyte now let me close this now again let's go back to this command prompt and this time what i need to do is let me press up arrow and instead of this download i need to write configure okay and now let's hit enter and this will basically start my office setup and there we go guys here we can see the preview of app that going to install in my system and then here also we can see microsoft project is one of the app that i would like to install so let's wait for a while meanwhile i would like to stress on one thing please make sure that you are in correct location and you are running correct command because a lot of us actually make mistake while running these command so you need to have admin access and make sure that you copy this path and then paste this path here and then reach to the same directory in command prompt as well and there we go guys here also we can see the message which says that installation is complete which is great news now let me quickly press my menu button and type here project and there we go guys we have successfully installed microsoft project in our system and now what we need to do here is we can click on sign in or create account and then here you need to enter either your id in case of online version or you can enter your product key if you have bought one time license so in this way guys we can download and install microsoft project in windows that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye